Yeah, Julian, Rob, four years ago, the vice presidential debate featured a Richmonder, Tim Kaine. No such direct connection to the debate out in Utah this evening, but experts say it could be one of the most consequential vice presidential debates in U.S. history because both of the presidential candidates are well into their 70s. Now, much of the buildup to tonight's uh, debate and the disputes over them have been the setup. Of course, you know by now, multiple staff members at the White House have tested positive for COVID-19 following President Trump's diagnosis last week. Vice President Mike Pence has been tested and tested negative multiple times. That's according to his team. They say his doctors gave him the go ahead to take part tonight. Pence and Senator Kamala Harris will be separated by plexiglass shields in between them, something the vice president's staff initially pushed back on. The tone of tonight's debate is expected to be much different than the first presidential debate because both Harris and Pence are known as pretty good debaters. Now, as for the issues that Virginia voters should really look out for, our political analyst expects the handling of the coronavirus pandemic, and in particular, how it ties to the greater issue of health care to take center stage. Health care costs and coverage is a major topic in several local congressional races here in central Virginia. Mike Pence is going to talk about how the... Um the Trump administration has made a lot of Supreme Court appointments that have tried to ensure that judges interpret the law, don't make the law. At the same time, Kamala Harris is going to argue that these appointments are putting into jeopardy um, some basic ideas that Americans hold pretty dear. The top of the ticket always impacts races down ballot. So we hope that you'll tune in tonight at 11 after the debate. Stay up with us. You'll hear from two local congressional candidates who are running for a seat that's based right here in Richmond. Working for you in Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.